Hey everybody, it's Logic Bomb. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated Avorian server. First thing you need to do is download Steam CMD if you don't have it already. I'll put the link to download it in the video description to make it easier for everybody. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to want to extract it somewhere easy to get to. I'm going to put it on my desktop, I believe, to make it easy for the video. It's going to extract it pretty small, then you just need to run it. This is going to download uh, Steam basically into that folder for you. So it's the command, the CMD interface version of it, I guess. So when you get here, you're going to want to do, you're going to want to log in anonymously. Zero is the ID number for a Vorian. It's basically going to download the files for you. Once it's done, um, you can actually close this window. But if you do need to update a Vorian again, you just need to type this app update uh, again and it will update the files for you. For now, we can close it because we're good. As you can see, this is where I made the folder, and it's this is where I put all the files that I downloaded. So from here, you want to go Steam Apps, Common. There's your Avorian server. And you just need to launch the uh, launcher, <clears throat> and this is where you can set up everything for the dedicated server. With all the different settings. Um, if you hit Start, start it. And then once it's done, like starting, I'd, I'd wait a, a minute or so probably, um, and then stop it. And then you're going to want to go to your apps data folder. I have a quick link here because I use it all the time. And then roaming and Evorian. Go inside your galaxies, and there's your dedicated server file. So to get to the app data, it's your C users, your username, and then app data. And if you can't see app data, it's because it's a hidden folder. So you have to sh you have to view hidden folders, which you do here in view, and then hidden item. So you need that checked. Anyways, once you get here, you can actually edit a couple more settings from the server to INI. Damage settings, different things like that. So if you need to make any changes there, and then also if you make it a private server where it needs to use the whitelist, this is where your whitelist is. So basically you add the usernames that you want to be able to add to the server. And your blacklist is here as well. Alright, I think that's it. That's how you set up an Avorian server. Hope the video helps you out. Follow me on Twitch at LogicBomb82 or on YouTube at Minecraft Union. Thank you. Have a great day.